I worked in Saskatchewan when I was younger and sort of sort of been in and out of there for 30 years and and I'm starting starting to see that forest fires are part of the the environmental cycle up there and and part of the exploration cycle up there. When you get a lot of these areas are very marshy, boggy with with rounded outcrops covered by trees and moss. And so you don't get a lot of exposure. You don't see a lot of rock. You you know you get little you get little uh, uh, snapshots of it here and there. Our our crews regularly peel moss off with a with a mattock and peel the moss back and see what you get. Every now and then, uh, an area in Saskatchewan burns right to the rock, and the the Fisher property in 2017, I think about uh, more than half, probably closer to three quarters of the property burned to the rock. And so it's created a huge leg up for explorers to be able to see the rocks um, where you couldn't see them before. It would be very expensive and time, time consuming to expose the rocks. Mother Nature did it for us. It takes quite a long time for the moss to build up and, and you know for things to regenerate there, but the, the first year after a fire is miserable. It's, it's horrible. Um, the trees are still standing. There's, there's soot all over the place. The bark is black and, and it's, it's, uh, you can get around, but it's dirty work. After the first and second year, these trees start falling down every time there's a wind. And I've been to some properties up there that are just like a giant pickup sticks game that goes for a kilometer. Like you, you have to literally crawl under the deadfall. And so we see that on a few of the properties we work on that, you know, your, your first couple years are your best years uh, before these trees, trees start coming down. They're dirty, it's dirty work <laughs> because, because of the ash everywhere, but it's probably the, the best time. You know, you get a few good rains and they clean off the outcrops a little bit and you start seeing stuff. It's uh, really interesting to note too that it was in, in 1996 while they were mining at the CB deposit that a big forest fire came through to the east of CB in the area of the now the Santoy deposit. But it was the forest fire that caused the discovery of Santoy. It, it exposed all the rocks around there. The geologists saw the veins from the air and went down and started sampling. And sure enough, that was that's what became the Santoy deposit. So we're seeing the same thing happen on the Fisher, uh, Fisher property. After 2017, the SSR geologists were finding it a lot easier to find target areas. And, and the fire is a big, you know, big reason for that.